Astra, December 1988. History was made when the Astra satellite was launched successfully into space on board an Ariane rocket. A dream had become reality, and a whole new era in satellite television had begun. Moments after its separation from the rocket, the Astra satellite reached its planned geostationary orbit position. 19.2 degrees east, some 36,000 kilometers above the equator. From here, it broadcasts a unique choice of television and radio channels. The Astra footprint covers the greater part of Western Europe, from Scandinavia down to the south of Italy, and from Spain across to Eastern Europe. Within this footprint, except for outlying areas, a small 60-centimeter dish is all the viewer needs to receive the direct transmission of Astra's great programming choice. offers a wide variety of European channels, giving the viewer more channels and more choice. But let's take a closer look behind the scenes. Astra is operated by Societe Europeenne des Satellites, a private Luxembourg company founded in March of 1985 under a franchise from the Luxembourg government, with headquarters at the Chateau de Betzdorf. Astra is a television system designed for Europe and consequently shareholders include European banking institutions, investments and media companies. The company employs over 100 staff from some 16 different nations and it's this team of multinational professionals who ensure the success of the Astra system. is the control center at Bedstorf, where communication with the Astra satellite is maintained around the clock. The control center ensures that the Astra satellite system functions perfectly at all times. The huge parabolic antennas are positioned to face directly towards Astra and control and steer the satellites in space. They also uplink the programs and, if necessary, they can also monitor the first stage in space of any other satellite before it reaches geostationary orbit. are monitored and steered from this control room which is equipped with at least one or two backup units and is capable of servicing the Astra system. The individual channel transmitters on the satellite are called transponders and they are monitored from this control room. Every satellite is constructed individually and it takes highly qualified specialists at least two years to build an Astra satellite weighing two tons. The satellite is very sensitive and needs to be assembled in a completely dust-free environment. Each part undergoes rigorous testing to ensure that it functions perfectly on its own and as part of the system. Precision testing like this at ground level will ensure that the satellite performs perfectly in space. Let's go back and see what happens after the launch. The Ariane rocket projects Astra towards its temporary orbit near the equator. In this elliptical orbit, the closest point from the satellite to the Earth is 220 kilometers, and the furthest is 36,000 kilometers. Helped by the firing of onboard thrusters, Astra is then propelled into its geostationary orbit, where the satellite unfolds its 20 meter long solar panels. These panels supply the energy for its electronic system.
in low Earth orbits at a height of 300 kilometers, a satellite will revolve every one and a half hours and spin faster than the Earth. The Moon, which is in a high Earth orbit, revolves only once every 28 days. So position between these two, in geostationary orbit at a height of 36,000 kilometers, the Astra satellite spins at the same speed as the Earth and is therefore always in the same position above the equator. geostationary position for Astra is within a 70 kilometer cube. In this position the Astra satellite is slowly but constantly being moved by the elements. However, onboard thrusters controlled from the ground can be fired to correct Astra's position at any time and keep it positioned at 19.2 degrees east. The rocket fuel on board is sufficient to last the approximate 12 years of the satellite's life. The Astra system is one that can be expanded and has been designed for the future needs and demands of Europe. Each Astra satellite has 16 transponders, which are capable of transmitting a television channel. So, with every new satellite, a further 16 new television channels are added to the system. If a transponder suffered technical problems, the signal would immediately be switched over to a backup amplifier, so there is no loss in transmission. The television and radio channels on Astra, which are distributed across Europe, deliver their programs to uplink stations at the location shown here. Signals are then sent from these uplink stations directly to the Astra satellite. The uplink is carried out via an antenna like the one shown here at Betzdorf. When Astra receives the signal, it turns it around and transmits it back down to Earth. So when the picture arrives on your screen, it's already traveled 72,000 kilometers at the speed of light. On June the 7th, 1988, Sky Television announced its decision to take four Astra transponders and became Astra's first clients. Today, the Astra satellite system offers you the best choice in television. A wide choice of thematic programming for different languages, cultures and interests. Additional audio subcarriers enable each channel to carry simultaneous language soundtracks for television or stereo radio channels. Look at this top quality programming and it's all on Astra. Family entertainment, sport, music, culture, first rate films, children's programs and pay television. Alternative television for everyone. What do you need to receive this additional television choice? For direct reception straight to your home, it's as easy as A, B, C. A, a low cost dish antenna. B, a satellite receiver. And C, your existing television set. And all this entertainment for less than the price of a good video recorder. Residents in a group of houses or a block of flats could get together and invest in a shared Astra satellite system so that everyone can receive the Astra television choice. 
There are also a few built-up areas where viewers may be able to get connected to a local cable network which carries the Astra programming underground. But the Astra single dish provides a real alternative for approximately 80% of European television households who are currently unable to receive a wide choice of programming. And the simplest way to get more television choice is to take the initiative yourself. The Astra system has been designed for the future needs and demands of television viewers all across Europe. Whatever new technology comes along, Astra is ready and waiting. By co-locating the satellites in the same orbital position and using adjacent frequency ranges, Astra offers you the opportunity to receive an ever-increasing selection of television and radio channels, all via one dish antenna. Astra. More channels, more choice.